The legal community hears a lot these days about electronic discovery and digital forensics, and they become industry buzzwords. Can you simplify it a little bit? Tell us what that means. Sure. Thanks, Lou. Uh, digital forensics is one component of e-discovery, which is the overall management of all electronic data or information that might be possibly available in a case. For example, emails, Word documents, spreadsheets, uh, financial statements, any of those are now considered uh, acceptable to be submitted in a lawsuit. And uh, um, that's what e-discovery is. Digital forensics is just the retrieval and protection and analysis of those documents. So you're really excerpting from the hard drive. I know this isn't a question that, that was in here, but you're, you're taking information that may not be on your desktop and finding it on the hard drive. Well, I think that's the critical thing is that uh, there's a lot of information that just through the course of time gets deleted. Emails get deleted, documents get changed and altered intentionally, meaning it was written this way and then the, the firm or the partner decided to write it a different way, write a Word document, a hiring letter, uh, anything. Um, but we also res restore instant messages, um, banking transactions. We're able to see so much that is not live information, not there on the computer desktop, that it's important uh, for both parties to be able to see. Sometimes that information is relevant. You know, this is very interesting um, in, in terms of the next step. So if I'm an attorney and you've discovered this information that works for me, what do I do with it? So what will happen is you'll receive a report as an attorney, as our client, that identifies what we found, uh, how big the hard drive was, how much information was on it, when information was deleted or changed on it, uh, how many copies of a specific document there might be, uh, and then you're able to determine whether you want to use that to present your case or not. And um, we can develop reports that show uh, usage, that show who was using, who was actually on, not only how long they were on the computer, but as well as other things like how often files were being deleted, how they were being deleted, and uh, how often people were accessing the computer remotely, possibly. So I take it the next step is to get the information you find and put it in an electronic discovery system, or can your company handle it? No, that is the next step. And in fact, our company can handle it. Although we specialize in digital forensics, we have uh, enough tools and partners in-house to be able to, to provide even more. We can handle the management component, or we can work with a, a litigation support team from within a law firm or even another outside vendor. In fact, we work, quite frankly, with a lot of outside vendors and providing them the information that they need so that they can bring it to production for the firm or for the other partner that's, that's using the services. So let's be real. You must find some really wacky things. Can you share with us some of them? Sure. Uh, obviously, I can't reveal names and cases, but uh, we had a lady that was posting pornographic pictures of herself using a work computer and server. We had uh, a man who was hiding his financial statements from his spouse through a divorce. We've had uh, uh, another man that was accessing an uh, an ex-employer's computer systems remotely to be able to make uh, online purchases and using account numbers from the uh, from his ex-employer. It uh, it really runs the gamut. People can be very crazy when uh, they're looking for uh, uh, ways to manipulate the data. We've been mostly talking about lawyers, but what about corporations? What can you recommend that they do to protect themselves? The number one thing corporations need to do, and we preach this all the time is get an acceptable use policy in place. Make it clear, make the users sign it, make all employees sign it so they know what is fair and what is not fair use. So that they understand that anything that they use the computer for is property of the company, um, is going to be researched if there's ever a question or a problem. From there, make sure that you have a firewall in place, use the proper antivirus and anti-spyware software, and I would strongly suggest and quite frankly urge that, that companies install network monitoring and, and user monitoring software systems to be able to see. You'll catch so many problems before they blow up into big issues that, uh, that you're really protecting yourself. Good advice. If someone wanted more information, 
What's your contact information? The easiest way to reach us is uh, at, at our website, www.thelorenzigroup.com. That's T-H-E-L-O-R-E-N-Z-I-G-R-O-U-P uh, dot com. Or contact us at 866-632-9880. Rob Fitzgerald, thanks very much. Thank you.